What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I wanted to check out this inner studio. They're like a custom company. They sell, you know, customs like this that they make. They sell just licensed pieces. I've gotten a few from them. I got Captain America bust, uh, my Black Widow bust, uh, you know, but you know, they're always looking to improve and they uh, made this Tony Stark bust. So Mark 85, battle damage one to one. Polystone, silicone, glass eyes, 92 centimeters tall, 60 wide, so pretty big. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, I did want to compare this to the actual scene to see if they got, like, the, you know, look of it right. Alrighty, so here it is from the actual movie right before he's about to snap. As you can see, his eyes are a little watery, blood right here, here. You know, slight frown. Let's check out the statue. So you got the blood there, the blood there, the slight frown. You know, hair could be fixed a little bit, but... I mean, the sculpt is good. It's not perfect. But for a custom, I do think it's pretty good. You know. Let's see. So there's the whole piece. They basically did a one-armed snap. I am Iron Man. Now they told me that this is not the final version. They will be adding more detail, making it metallic paint, detailed arc reactor. I also suggested they do an I am Iron Man like proximity logo because I feel like something like right there would look really good. You know, but I think this has so much potential. You know, it's like has a really cool light up feature. And my buddy just got their Bane uh, silicone, and he says it's absolutely amazing. He's like, dude, this is easily as good as Queen or Infinity. Now, I wasn't happy with my Black Widow, but they said they had, like, a different studio do that, and they're never using them again, and they didn't make production just because it was so bad. I mean, they knew it was bad, but this looks pretty good. Some people have been hating on this on Facebook, and I'm like, Really? I know it's not perfect, but you can still see that, you know, Robert Downey Jr. likeness. As long as they fix the metallic paint and add a detailed arc reactor, it's solid. Plus, I know there is a, you know, light up feature. Check this out. So, multiple different lights. Let's make that bigger. Check that out. I mean, that's a pretty cool light up feature. You know, you got light up. I mean, just look how bright it is as well. And I'm assuming they're going to do AC adapter, not the garbage way Queen Studios did it. You know, but really cool. You know, like there's just the head. You know, again, I am Iron Man. Here is a video. And then again to the scene. Yeah, I think it looks great. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but, you know, it looks good. Now, in terms of, you know, it's 99 edition size, which is pretty low. There was that other Iron Man, which didn't do, like, the snap, but it had a really, like, perfect likeness. Like, better likeness than this, although I like the concept on this one better. That one was good, though, you know, for sure. It sold out. This one is up for pre-order you know, it costs 3500 bucks sea shipping or 4000 for air shipping, you know. So if you want this, simply, you know, go to Inner Studios' Facebook page uh, and they can, you know, go ahead and pre-order this. But yeah, my buddy ordered this Bane. Check this out. He's absolutely loved it. He's like making a giant bust out of it. You know, like, that looks great. Glass eyes, hand-punched eyebrows, mask looks good. I definitely like that Bane. It is sold out, though. You know, and uh, you also have this Jack Sparrow. My buddy actually just got this as well. It looks just like the Jack Sparrow I used to have, you know, which is an absolutely fantastic Jack Sparrow. You know, like, this one looks just like it. So... Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting another Jack Sparrow, but I will hold off unless we get a really good one third and I decided I want a Pirates line. 
you know, but I won't get one without a one third. I don't want to bust in one fourth, like the sideshow one fourth. No, no, no. But yeah, what do you guys think of this Iron Man though? You know, like, is this something Flinkster should consider? You know, like, imagine if I threw this next to my Thanos bust, removed Hulkbuster, scoop Captain and, you know, Doctor Strange down. Should we consider it? Because if I was to do an Iron Man up there, it'd need to be an unmasked one. Either this one or if I got the other one, which, let me see if I can find a photo of that. Alrighty, I can't find the photos, but it's this one right here. Uh, uh, 22. You know, if it wasn't for the existential terror of staring into the... This one's not battle space, damaged. I'm feeling a little bit. Get rid of that volume. This one definitely has a better metallic paint up, and I like the hair better. The hair's a little bit better. Likeness is a little bit better. Now, this one's, like, basically similar to the Queen Studios one with a, you know, Tony Stark sculpt. Look at that detailed arc reactor. Cool-looking base. Now, that one looks solid. This one sold out. I can't get it. And the person who originally sold it was Hannah Lee on Facebook. I messaged her when this went up for pre-order, but she never responded to me. And there is the light up. Uh, it has an Avengers Endgame logo too. Nice. This one definitely looks more like a Queen Studios project, where the other one does look more custom. You know, it has the nice wrinkles and everything. You know, so, yeah, I, I couldn't find the photos here when I was searching. Anyways, folks, what do you guys think of this Iron Man bust? Uh, if you guys are interested, contact Inner Studios. Uh, overall, I do like it. It definitely needs some work if it's, you know, going to top. I mean, the other one I think was also about 3500 you know, but they definitely need to fix the paint app. I would say if they could fix the likeness, do that. The base is okay. I prefer the base than the other one. The, but the biggest missing thing for me is that metallic paint. Add more detail to the battle damage, you know. And, you know, fix the hair a little bit. I think it might be slightly too long. Anyways, folks, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.